Hi there, and welcome to this new video where I'm going to explain you how you can catch the DCF, DCS land event, which is an event that occurs when airplanes are landing at airfields. And you can catch the event and then build new logic to extend the event processing for certain objects within your mission. For this purpose, I've created the following test mission already. Um, I'm going a bit quicker in these videos over the things because I'm not going to explain in each video how to build a object variable that holds a reference to a unit, right? So what I'm going to do in this mission is when the AI plane that's flying to the airbase is going to land at the airfield, once it lands, a new plane will be spawned at the airbase. So for this, I'm creating here a local variable spawn plane that will hold a reference to a new op a new spawn object that will spawn new instances of the template with the group name spawn plane AI. This group is defined within your mission editor. Yeah? And I'm creating a local variable new plane that will hold the group once the plane has been spawned. I'm subscribing the plane AI, right? To the land event here. So once the land event of plane AI occurs, then with this function declaration or definition, the event dispatcher will call the on event land function or method of plane AI and will pass event data. So when the land when the landing is happening, I am spawning a new plane. So I'm taking the spawn plane object and spawn a new group that I'm storing in the variable new plane. So not very difficult. Okay, so here's my mission. Let's have a quick look at it, how it is being defined. So I'm having a C-130 flying into uh, Guduata. Okay, the pilot name or the unit name is called Plane AI is of excellent level and I'm having an inactive group here with late activation with the name spawn plane AI that will be spawned once the C-130 lands onto the airfield. So here we are at the mission. I'm going in map mode. You'll see the C-130 doing a circle to land. I'm speeding up the time a bit and then it will land okay so I'm gonna speed up a bit there we go doing normal time and once you see the landing occurring right after that the predator is being spawned at the airfield and you can notice the event here yeah, very interesting here. So you see the events, event land occurring, and then the event function is called for unit 20, which is the um, plane AI. Yeah, but that had the event subscribed. And then I'm spawning a new plane, which then a birth event is being triggered. And that is then being fed with the, into the database first, as I explained in the overview. And then the spawn object is receiving as well the birth event, because the spawn is administering the birth events for planes it's spawning. It holds counters. And then engine startup, etc., etc. So I hope you like this video, and see you later. Bye-bye.